Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this video. Today we are going to solve another interesting JavaScript problem that was asked in Sugi's HT2 interview. As you can see on the screen, this question was posted on March 17, 2022. And this question I have already solved in my ebook. So today we are going to attempt and solve it again. Let's read the problem statement. This is one of the very interesting problems that we can expect as a front end engineer and such type of questions really, you know, excites me very much because this is something that I would like to work as, as a front end engineer. So the problem, this problem, if you see, right, it's a combination of promise recursion and different use of data structures. So let's read the problem statement and then we'll try to solve it step by step. The problem statement readers, we have to create an analytics SDK that exposes log event. It takes in analytic events and queues them. So the first part is we have to create a, a function that will take the events and hold them or queue them. Second is pass a function send analytics event. As a parameter, implement a stub function. The stub here refers as a mock function or a function that does not gives error. So basically it will be a mock function that will mimic the API call. That stub function will resolve in one second and fails every and mod 10 times. That is the events will be passed every one second. And while we are trying to send the events, for every n mod 10 calls, it will fail. That means it will work for nine times and on the 10th call, it will fail. When it will fail, so uh, send the next event to when the previous one resolves. That is if this function resolves, then only we have to send the next event, which is after one second. And if it fails, then we have to attempt a retry. I hope the question is clear to you. Let's start solving this. So here I have already copied the problem statement. Let's try to implement it step by step. Whenever you are encountered with a problem during the interviews, right? Um, we all are very nervous during the interviews because uh, I've given so many interviews in my career, but still every time when I go for interview, I still face nervousness. That's very common. But one thing that I've learned over time is it's to read the problem statement very carefully and try to tackle it step by step. So as the problem statement itself is given in parts, we can very easily tackle it. So let's start implementing this. The first thing I'm doing is I'm creating a constructor function here so that we can create this HTK analytics and we can use it anywhere throughout the application on any type of instances. So I can create multiple instances of this. That's why I'm creating a constructor function over here. The first thing is we have to get the logs and we have to queue them. That's why I'm creating an array over here. As you are, if you are not aware, arrays in JavaScript are very dynamic. We can use it as array. We can use it as uh, stack, queue and DQ. So four data structures can be created using the single array in JavaScript. The second thing is we have to get the events. So I'm creating this function log that will take the event and it will push it into the queue. So this dot log dot push and then event basically we'll store the events. So the older events or the later events will be at the back and the newer events will always be at the top because this is a queue that we are creating. So from the top, the queue will start printing itself. So here I'm pushing the events, it will store it. So the later events will be at the end. The second thing is we have to create this stub function, right? That resolves in one second and fails on every n mod 10 times. So I'll do it for n mod five times. You can increase it to 10 times also. This is because uh, for the 10 times I have to add multiple uh, events over here. So for the demo purposes, we'll, we'll reduce it to n mod five times. Let's create this wait function. So I'm calling this wait wait because this will resolve after one second, right? So there is a delay. So uh, there is a waiting time. That's why I'm calling this as wait. 
and here I am creating the function and see because we have to wait for one second and after that depending upon uh, the event count we are dealing with that is nmod 10 or nmod 5 we have to either resolve or reject so I am creating a new promise that will either resolve and reject simple step by step then set timeout so here we have to either resolve or reject after one second because there is only two outcome for this operation so it can either resolve or it will fail but that should happen on every one second because the events will be logged in every one second that's why i'm adding a set timeout now to track right what's the count of the event i'm dealing with i'm creating a global tracker over here this dot count i'm setting the value as one and based on this value right this dot count mod pi equals to equals to zero then i'll reject the promise so on every n mod 10 or 5 count it should fail that's why i'm rejecting the promise otherwise it will resolve So you can increase it to 10, it should work as expected just for the demo purpose. Here I am keeping it as 5. Now we have our wait function ready. Now let's move to the send analytics event function. So this dot send analytics events, I am creating it as a async function. Async because we are dealing with the promise over here. So to handle this promise, either I can have the denable chain which I don't like so I'm going to create a async function over here so async function and then as you can see right send the next event to send analytics event only after it resolves that means if the previous event has been completed we have to trigger a next logging event so I'm going to use a recursion for that now to handle the recursion right at some point you want to terminate the recursion so what i am going to do here is i am going to write the base condition for termination and that condition is if there are no more events in the queue that means if this dot log dot length equals to equals to zero i am going to return or terminate the call so there should not be any further processing because we don't have any more logs to be sent so I am terminating, I have added a base condition over here. Now let me get the top event from the logs. So this dot logs dot shift. Now shift method gives us the first entry of the array. So it will help us to work as a queue. So we are getting the first entry from the array. And now I am going to wrap our logic in try catch block because we are inside a async function and if promise fail right so that promise has to be handled inside a try catch block now i'm going to await this dot wait so this dot wait function i'm calling now this will be invoked it will check the condition so this is the first count we are dealing with because the initial value is one so this will resolve after one second now by the time this part is not executed right the execution is not completed for this part the program will halt and it will the next line of the code will execute only after one second because in the this dot wait we have added that uh, it the promise after only after it resolves uh, after one second the next line will resume uh, executing so we got we are awaiting for that period for one second and here I'm going to print console.log logged and we have logged the current event so you can perform any types of action over here you can make a API call or you can you know print it any type of operation that you can expect I'm just printing it so that we can analyze it on the demo and finally after the event has been logged we are going to increase the count so we are moving to the next event this dot count let's say this dot await we have called this for fifth time so on the fifth call what will happen is the reject 
so promise will be rejected now if the promise is rejected we will move to the catch block so here what i'll do is in the catch block i'm going to print a log over here so basically event failed so this event failed now once the event failed what we have to do is we have to retry so retrying let's just type failed and then retrying and before this i'm going to add a uh, divider so that we can have it in the log a simple abstraction sorry a representation i'm adding for the logs and after that if the event has failed right so on every n mod 5 or 10 count we have to fail so if the event has failed i have to reset the counter so this dot count equals to 1 i am setting it as initial value whatever it was and then the current event because it failed right so it has to be retried so what i'll do is i'll push it back in the queue so this dot logs dot unshift so unshift will add the value at the front of the array so i'm just going to push it back to the uh, logs because we have to retry now here we had tried if the promise resolves we are successfully logging if it rejects we are printing after both the operation is done what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a recursive call to the same function so that it can send the next event so see we made the use of try catch and finally block over here the complete methodology we made use of promises and we then are also making use of recursion over here with base condition so now I think this is the implementation and this should work now. Let me create an instance of SDK. So const SDK equals to new SDK. And here let me add some logs. So uh, log event one. Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's have fifteen events. And now, if I trigger that, it should start sending the analytics event. So HTK dot send analytics event. It should work as expected so we have the current let, let's try running this in the log you can see after one second the events is being printed so after fourth event on the failed fifth one we failed and we are retrying the fifth then fifth let's the log complete we'll go through it and 15 so see over here we have logged the first event second event third event fourth event on the fifth count because it should fail right and mod 5 equals to 0 so on fifth count it has failed so for the fifth event we have failed we have retried fifth event and then again fifth event was logged sixth seventh eighth so now on the ninth count again it failed because on every fifth count it should fail so the four events will be printed and then after that on the fifth count it will fail and it will retry again the next four will be printed on the fifth count it will fail and retry again next four are printed on the fifth it has failed and retried now after that once it has printed all the logs it has stopped so the base condition was also made during the recursion and it has stopped logging the events so this is how you can solve this problem I hope you have learned something new today. Thank you for your time.